question, yeah? So we work with upper thorax. So what are the structures? The major structures we will be working with is pectoralis major. So firstly, like landmarks of the thorax, like sternum, yeah? And then th that's that bony part of the sternum that attached to the rib cage. Yeah, there's like uh, nine different joints that merge sternum with the rib cage, with the ribs. Yeah. And then at the bottom you have xiphoid process, like a little little bone, and then all the way this the end of the sternum, where it comes the clavicle. And then that goes into um, into the shoulder, shoulder joint, and um, so yeah, the pectoralis major is the, the major superficial big muscle of the chest. It attaches to the sternum, goes to the clavicle and the first rib, and goes all the way into the humerus, yeah, into the into this bone. So all this is still pectoralis major, all that, yeah all that part mm -hmm. and so of course on men it's kind of easy to see and find and women will be pressed but it's still muscle is there obviously but the way we work in this session with packs is that um you you somehow need to go under the armpit <laughs> and you and you grab it and you just pull it up it looks intense but it's not yeah you can try on yourself if you go under the armpit and grab that that like a strong kind of tissue it's, it's kind of you can you can really grab it and then pull it gently up and down and see that it's not so painful if you go if you go with soft touch there not too fast it, it's actually quite nice so there is the way is to come in here Grab it like this, and then you can pull it in and out. To towards myself, I'm pulling towards myself. Pectoralis major. How does that feel? Like a little bit intense, but it okay. feels good. Yeah. Like, yeah, you really feel that you're pulling a muscle where normally you, you don't pull that. Yeah, yeah, normally you don't. So, but it feels good. It's not like really painful, but more like like you know like stingy, like like yeah. pinching. Yeah. So you kind of ungluing it from the rib cage. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like like gently moving it out. You have to be soft also. Right? Listen to the body. And move this muscle. Is it possible that the person is super tingly? tingly yeah, or? that's like protection. Usually when there's a lot of tension. They might be lot, like ticklish, so they don't let you in, but that's usually protection. So you need to find a way, then you can kind of work like stretching it from that way also. Yeah. Um, give me resistance. You see? That's pectoralis major. All that. Now it's kind of. Uh, Contract it and release. Yeah, and it's soft again. Yeah. Okay, nice. So that's one thing. And I think sometimes we work on the sternum. So there is this soft tissue around the sternum. So what you could do, you can bring your fingertip and you can do it through the all this you can do through the clothes. You don't need to undress. And then, and then you move your fingers on the side of the ribcage, like one, two centimeters, just to open up the ribcage. Especially great for oral, you remember this collapse when there's a hollow here, or also uh, psychopathic structure because there is uh, energy get like stuck here and then back. And so they kind of also go a little bit, like there might be a lot of pain here around the heart. So just opening the sternum, opening the heart. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can go harder if you want. It feels yeah. like... The feels okay. Uh -huh. For some people it's very painful mm -hmm. to communicate. I remember during a breath stroke that you, that you pushed there. Yeah. And that was really intense then. Mm -hmm. I guess then it was more charged and... Maybe, yeah, I think it's more charged. But this feels really like... 
So with this one, it's really, really uh, necessary to to talk with your partner before one is okay and one is not. Yeah, yeah, you can you can say that in this session um, I will be touching this part, upper chest, and if something is uncomfortable, let me know and we adjust. Yeah, at this point we were touching yesterday <laughs> under clavicles. I think mm -hmm. it's uh, in uh, Chinese medicine, it's lung something. What is it? Lung? Lung one, yeah. So it activates your lungs and then brings you back to the body. So it's like kind of switch on button. <laughs> switch on button. Yeah. And then uh, other thing is like pectoralis minor is also something that um, we work on and that's something that is connected to coracoid process. It's part of the, um, like at the end of the uh, clavicle, you can find it's kind of like, n kind of knob. And, the, and then it goes like this to the third, fourth and fifth rib, kind of shorter muscle, deep core muscle of the, of the chest. So we kind of like, indirectly when we do that, sorry, it no, yeah. <laughs> when we when we do that indirectly we, we coming into contact with pectoralis minor yeah. that's also opening the chest so now I'm like touching that's a bit more sensitive than yeah. the major I guess yeah so so by going in here you're already also working on the core you, you the do chest. like this yeah you do like this okay. like I can, this is one of the way you can do many ways but I think this is the easiest you can go from one side and just work side by side. You can just do like body work on the shoulders. Just open up the shoulders. Deltoids. You might go some cloth. Can you slide? Yeah, after the cloth you can slide. If you have like cloth, you can stretch it it's more like you're not gonna stretch the tissue but you're gonna stretch the joint and the muscle you see for the clothes it's also okay sometimes you can go under and you put your fingers in the level of the heart in between the scapulas and this is this is nice place to just rest and let people breathe into your fingers Name. Scapula, Scapula in between your shoulder blades. Shoulder yeah. blades, shoulder yeah. You go under and yeah. then you. Uh, I go in between. Or you just yeah, touch. like I go like this. Yeah, like this, and I stay here, and he drops, and I have my fingers here, and he drops his weight. Yeah. So you don't go like under. No, no, I don't. I don't do that. I don't pull. Up. You could do also, but then it becomes too much of the body okay. work. Yeah. I just want to make it simple. Okay. So so you just go here yeah. and you just drop on the heart and you, and you just keep on opening this way, yeah? So that's like if this collapse, yeah. then you kind of force for opening the heart. But the scapula is shoulder blade. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's yeah. The same. It's that's, that's the shot, that's the, that's the like wing. All right. Okay, and, and then lay down. Um, yeah, and then sometimes you can do just wiggling of the thorax also. That's kind of more tomorrow. And pushing? Yeah, you can you could do also pushing. <coughs> so on exhalation, if you work with let's say a psychopathic structure that you want to that they stuck on exhalation opposite to um, oral, they would stuck on exhalation and they have difficulty to let go. <laughs> so what you could do in invite them to inhale and you push down and encourage the inhale, exhalation, you hold a bit on exhalation. And then you let them in here again. So you just discharge this upper body that way. And in here. Yeah. So that's also good to do sometimes. And exhale 
Ade Bisa Good. So just a few things, I think that's enough. Yeah.